There are a number of short scenes here <coughs> covering the, the events the night before the Americans had arrived uh, at the, uh, the Treaty House. Uh, then finally, there is a great martial music sound from the rear of the theater, and the band comes down to Hanamichi with all the American sailors, uh, the officers, Commodore Perry, and so on. And uh, on stage, we see the Treaty House. Uh, they make their way into it, and uh, sort of shades are dropped. You can sort of see figures inside the Treaty House, but you don't know what's going on. At that point, the reciter says nobody really knows what went on uh, at, the, uh, at the Treaty House that day, and uh, a man in his late 40s says, I do, and that's the number. The number takes care of all of that. One thing I would like to point out is that one of the characters, it's a song sung by three people, this song. Uh, one of the characters was a fellow who was put under the floorboards of the Treaty House, a samurai, uh, their best swordsman with a sword, so that indeed if the Americans did anything, attacked the counselors or the shogun, he would leap up through the sword and decapitate, uh, through the floor and decapitate them. Uh, okay. <laughs> man, the only, only quarrel I have with Hal is the man who's not in his 40s is a great deal older. And what happens is that the, the uh, reciter says, nobody knows what went on in the treaty house because the Americans have their own version and the Japanese won't tell. And so I guess we'll never know. At that point, music starts and an old man comes around the side with carrying an attache case, which is the only anachronism in the act, and he starts to sing. Uh, I will try to do this with a minimum of talk, so I'll just cue you into the following. At the beginning of the song, the old man is remembering being there, and he remembers a specific tree. When he says that, they bring a tree out, the stage hands onto the stage, or perhaps it's there, and he can't quite remember where it was, so they keep placing it in different parts of the stage till he says that's where it was. Um, the first half of the song is the old man and another character who I'll introduce to you when it happens. And the second half of the song starts with the samurai warrior under the house. At the beginning, the reason I say this is the voices between uh, the old man and the reciter overlap. And so I'll try to keep the, the flow going, and you'll imagine what's being said. I think it'll be clear. At the climax of the song, all three voices, not the reciter, but the three characters on the stage, are going at once and making kind of counterpoint to build a number. I trust you will try to remember that.
Some are old, some chatted on it. If it happened, I would say, I saw everything. I was someone in a dream.